Hey YouTube and all my boondocking buddies. Welcome back to Kathy's Care for Life. How's it going? Good morning, good morning. It is after Labor Day weekend. Yes, it's closing off. I hope every everybody had a nice Labor Day weekend and uh, with your family or friends and uh, hope everybody had a nice time. Uh, just still coming to you from the Honda Odyssey camper van and I wanted to show you guys where we are right now we're at a, a blank slate so I have the design on paper draft after draft I have the uh, uh, we're about to put this thing together this week we've got a little window of some low humidity and I'm gonna take advantage of that so uh, I'm going to do some great headway in these next three days. But I want to show you guys what we have here. We got a minivan, camper van, looking super cool. With some nice, cool, green, super soft shag is what I went with. And this is... Uh, this is super cool. I got it uh, on Amazon, of course. And it's really, really soft. Super soft. And it's got a, uh, a padding on the back, which is super cool. And it makes it, uh, you know, cushy when you step on it or you won't be standing on anything in here you'll be kneeling which will be really nice so I'm going to show you guys all right super cool all right loving this loving this this is awesome so, uh, like I said, it's got a cushion. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not the right view. It's cushy. I compare it to a large bath mat, but it's super cool find. All right. So, so I want to share with you guys kind of what the game plan is and uh, you know sometimes things look get on paper yet they don't uh, quite go in but I, I like to just measure everything out as much as possible work smart not hard uh, the seats, the captain seats came out really easy. The third row seat had a unique um, end hex bit that you needed that was 12 mm. And most of the hardware stores and things like that only go up to a 10 or 11. So uh, that's kind of was a special part. I think AutoZone carries it. But you guys that are building out a Honda Odyssey camper van, uh, you need that special bit to get that third row seat out. So uh, once I got that off Amazon, um, it's like eight bucks. It came and then I could get the third row seat out. Uh, you'll see on the side to the left and to the right, I'll show you. That big bolt right there you got two of them and you got to get those out and uh, then you're and then don't do what I did Ow. <laughs> I took my seat out from the inside it's better to fold it all down in the trunk remove it from this side uh, so don't remove it towards the van remove it towards the 
uh, the trunk here and uh, that way you won't I scratched it a little bit but uh, I removed it the wrong way and there's a little lever in the front of the bench seat which I found out the hard way too so that's why I'm sharing that with y'all so once you get those two bolts out go to the front of the seat and pull the lever to remove the whole seat uh, like I said I found out the hard way I might have bent the little prongs you can see that prong right there and right there sticking out so I might have did a number on those and bent those up a little bit but the third seat is never coming back in this van even if I sold it I would sell it as the camper van it is with the captain chairs and that's it so the third seat is not coming back anyway for the life of this fan or as long as I have it. <laughs> um, so anyway what are we doing let me share with you how my mind is visioning and what we're going forward with actually so this camper van is going to be equipped with a window unit air conditioner a refrigerator a restroom place for my closet place for my tools a convertible bed and uh, so it's gonna be really cool Honda Odyssey 2002 152,000 miles my new project so you guys that are building out a Honda Odyssey camper van stay tuned you get some great ideas what I got coming up super cool and I wanted decorative you know I had that big white van before and there was nothing decorative about it you know I tried to make it cute but um so we're really going to be uh, uh, functional and decorative with the little minivan which I have not named yet once I get on the road I'm sure I will um so we're going to do it like a tear drop camper so if you think about it what are RVs RVs are you know their house houses on wheels is what they are now this what is this is a house on wheels what is a teardrop camper teardrop camper just cuts in half the sleeping part and your vehicle so this you consider like, I mean, you could consider this like a Class C. You know, the 24-foot Class C that Carolyn's RV life goes around in. Uh, there's nothing uh, different about it, of course. You can't stand up in it, but a lot of them that have the high tops, you can. And uh, definitely I uh, got that in my mind in the future. Um, so anyway, that's the way you think about this is it is an RV and it will do all things functional as an RV, as a house, as a tiny trailer, as a teardrop. So we are going to make the kitchen in the back. So you see this right there? That's going to be the start of the kitchen. So do the kitchen in the back, refrigerator in the back. Uh, we're going to build a type of a wall and then we're going to have the convertible bed in the front uh, with a little bit of storage and some other uh, good surprises. But I want to say hi, hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to Kathy's Camper Live where I go all over in either a van, a vintage camper, this is my new uh, project right here. I've had a cargo trailer. I've had a Shasta. I've had a super vintage Bethany pop-up. I started with a monster 37 foot Dutchman is what I started my RV life in, or my camper life, I should say. I got smaller, 27 foot. Then I had a Skyline Nomad that was 24 foot like I said a vintage Bethany pop-up I forget what year it was but it was vintage in every way I sold that fast 
and uh, had a cool Shasta that got a lot of attention. So anyway, just a little history of some of the some of the great campers I've done and trailers I've found out there. And uh, this is my new project, and uh, super excited. When I see this blank slate like this, is when I really get excited and my creativity starts kicking in and uh, you know just excited every day to get out here and uh, watch this thing evolve into something really cool so all right guys well thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon I'm gonna be just doing snippets as we go and uh, I hope you guys that are doing a camper van get something out of it get some great ideas and I hope it also inspires people to go out and buy one and do the same. All right. Good to see everyone. May the sun light up your days and the stars light up your nights. Until next time, YouTube, take care.